Hi, there has been a fever and also a controversy in English learning and teaching community in Hanoi. Is Dan really an innocent guy or are some famous teacher qualified enough to teach English? Well, I'm not going to jump in and play the judge's role. But anyway, I want to thank Dan for something that he showed us that pronunciation really matters. Why is that so? Firstly, it boosts our ability to remember vocabulary. You know, English is created from prefixes, core words, and suffixes. There are some long words like misunderstandable, or undoubtedly, or imaginative. Those are really long words that without pronunciation rules and memory, you find it really hard to remember them. Secondly, it really reinforces our listening skill. Why is that? Let me just divide listening skill into two small sub-skills. When you listen, you might hear some old words, which means that you hear them before, but you can't recognize them when the speaker says, for example, easier, easier. Well, when the speaker speaks too fast, question, is he here? It will become very short and you can't hear it clearly. Or, I love her, I love her. It actually, I love her. Also, in listening skill, you might hear some words that you never heard before, which means that completely new words. But with pronunciation, it can help you to guess and write down the words and also look up the dictionary and find that word immediately. The horse's mane is brown and soft. The horse's mane is brown and soft. So there are a lot of words that sound like a, mane, they, brace, face, lake, gate. Finally, we found out that the word that we need to find is main, M-A-N-E. Take an example. We had a meager meal together yesterday. We had a meager meal together yesterday. There's a new word that makes you confused. It's an adjective, meager. Let's find some words that are the same. Street, meat, sea, and some words that has the ending er, teacher, doctor, pillar, future. If we can mix them up a little bit and look up the dictionary, we would find out meager, M-E-A-G-E-R, means simple, plain, and not much thing in there. Thirdly, standardized pronunciation defines yourself in speaking skill. Some says that good pronunciation makes you a higher class person. Good pronunciation actually sets you free from all the misunderstanding situations that you might be trapped into. For example, a lot of young mother and fathers nowadays want to teach babies English and they keep speaking English to their child and they would say, please call me dad, call dad. Well, actually they want to say, please call me dad. But that's a little misunderstanding there and it's pretty not cool, right? Anyway, I put pronunciation to six different levels. Level one is when you're really naive and innocent. You just speak freely and you don't even know that you're speaking it wrong. You can't distinguish when you're wrong or right. The second level is when after a while of learning pronunciation, you know that you might make some mistakes and you feel that the mistakes is there, but you can't fix it yourself because fixing pronunciation mistakes is actually has to come from a series of habits. Number three is when you can distinguish when you speak wrong or right, and you can hear when people speak incorrectly or correctly. And now you can start fixing yourself, correcting your own pronunciation mistakes when you have some. Level four is when you really escape Vietnamese accent. You don't speak with like completely Vietnamese accent anymore, but it still sounds foreign. It's like in the middle, here's Vietnamese, here is you, and here's native. So you still have to keep going forward the path to reach the native accent destination. Level five is when you got a foreign accent. Now you can pick for yourself either American accent or British accent. It's not quite clear yet. Sometimes you might mix them and sometimes you're still out of control with your accent if you speak too fast. And level six is when you really reach native accent. You speak as freely as you want and just as natural as a native person. So I wish that you could find where you are in this ladder of six levels of pronunciation. And remember, pronunciation does matter. It defines you, boosts you, and reinforces your English skills. I wish that you keep having more effort and not give up in English. Goodbye and see you next time.